Welcome back to yet another episode of the Chelsea Football Club. Welcome back to the guy, Dion Chanavar. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say I appreciate the support on the last few episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been racking up a minimum of a thousand views in the last few episodes. How has this happened? Only God knows. But I can tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am very grateful for the support you guys have been showing me. Um, as well as that, I did a Twitch stream yesterday, uh, Wednesday, and uh, we had a hundred view, 116 viewers we peaked at, ladies and gentlemen. 116 live viewers. Like I never, like I knew I was gonna get there, you know, I'm gonna get past there at some point, of course, as well. But I didn't think it would be this soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you so much. As you can see on the screen, we have a game in the FA Cup against Manchester United at Old Trafford, ladies and gentlemen. And as you're about to see on the screen, once again, Armando Broja's name is popping up. History beckons the December Player of the Month award went to Armando Bro, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring in Joao Felix. <laughs> like I do, I want to bring in Joao Felix, ladies and gentlemen. However, we don't have the funds to do that quite yet. Why, Gaffer? Like, you, you said you're going to sell Nicola Jackson. You said you, you, you literally said that you was going to do it. I am. No club, right, in the world, no club has come to me asking me nothing about Nicola Jackson. No, like, no, no, no one. No, like, no one's even said, like, how is he doing nothing? No one's talking about his bloodline that I captured and put him in. You know, no one's saying anything. So Joao Felix has to hold up for a little while. He DM me um, with a he DM me with a watch, it, just a watch. And I go to him, and he's, he's basically saying, "How long is this gonna take, Gaff? I'm trying to play for your club under your management." I sent him a, a, a emoji like this, basically saying, "Please forgive me and give me time as well." Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the start of eleven. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the start of eleven, let's go through some press conference questions. I want to go with uh, Lewis Smith, please. Well, uh, what can we expect from Cole Palmer and the Lone Lads when they're back? And how Indeed. are they progressing out there? Uh, we can, listen, we can plan to see guys uh, Palmer coming before you know it. Before you know it. Um, I, listen, we have so much squad depth right now in that midfield, uh, going forward at least. We need to think about guys like Cole Palmer, how they're going to slot back into the team. I mean, he is going to have to be rotated across that, that front three, but... How is that going to work? We'll have to find out, Lindemo. But guys that, guys that call Palmer, they will be back into the squad. Um, let's take Saki Productions question, please. Saki Productions, let's go. Well, Kai Havertz has come out publicly saying that Chelsea isn't a big club anymore. What are your thoughts on the slander from uh, Kai Havertz, obviously, ex-Chelsea player? He's an idiot. He's an idiot. Like, like, like Kai Havertz is an idiot. I, I, I don't know what would make him come out trying to say something about uh, the club like that. Um... <sighs> I think maybe he's feeling a little bit embarrassed about the Arsenal game that we just played against them. Did you see him on the pitch? Did you? I didn't. <laughs> like, I don't think he was there. Like, they don't respect him. And I, I think he's finding himself in a trap where no one, he's looking around and he's starting to realise no one gives a damn about my existence anymore. <laughs> like, Kai Havertz, let me tell you something right now, boy. Um, if this is your way to get your name back up, talking about a, a team like us that's, that's, that's rising in the Premier League table, you just made, we just finished your Premier League group, top of our group. You, you want to start bringing up conversations about our name again? Uh, Kai Havertz? Um, 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 you're going to find yourself wound up dead. Like, don't bring up our name, uh, Kai Havertz. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Let's take Zinedine's question, please. Zinedine. Well, Gaffer, uh, wondering, what's your opinion on uh, Jude Bellingham come out? He said that he would love to play against Chelsea in the next season's uh, Champions League <laughs> as he, he believes it's the easiest opponent to face on paper. What are your comments about this? Obviously, Jude Bellingham being a world-class player. <sighs> what a shame. What a shame. I, I like Jude Bellingham. I, I, I actually didn't know he said that. I actually really like Jude Bellingham. And so to hear he's come out saying that about us, that we'd be an easy opponent in, in the Champions League, it, it does rub me the wrong way. Uh, the fact of the matter is Jude Bellingham. Let me tell you right now, boy. We come up against you in the Champions League, right? We have a player that currently plays for your team. He goes by the name of Rudiger, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you right now. Me and Rudiger have a very healthy relationship. A very healthy relationship. In fact, me and him have had words about him returning to the team. We have. Um, if I slip that man a little bag, Jude Bellingham, you will find yourself winning that game. I can promise you that, Jude Bellingham. And um, I just find it quite scummy. Another professional coming out talking about my team. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, I, I keep everything professional. <laughs> I always keep things <laughs> professional. I never would talk about another manager, player, my own players. I wouldn't even talk about my own players in a, in a, in a, in a, in a negative way. I never do that. Okay, so for another professional player, another team to come out talking to me in a, in a way, I am like, dare I say it, I am heartbroken, Jude Bellingham. I, I am. I don't know though, Jude. Like, do I have to sign your brother, your little brother, your, your sweet little brother, Jude? 
Do I have to sign him and not play him a single minute and ruin his career to teach you a lesson? Is that what I have to do? Because I'll do it. And let's actually end it off with Harry May's question, please. Harry May. So, what are you looking to do on the transfer market? Uh, a, a lot of Romans suggested a new striker or a right back. So, Indeed. they've been playing Indeed. well, though. So, what's going to happen? Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, well, the truth, well, the truth is, Harry May, is uh, Armando Bright has been playing very well. December played them up. <laughs> Uh, projected to break the Premier League goal-scoring record. <laughs> I don't think we'll be needed to sign a Aussie man anytime soon, but I can tell you right now, Nicholas Jackson is gone, and, and Nicholas Jackson going does mean we need to sign someone else. Joao Felix is the perfect man in my mind to sign in that position. Um, I'm learning Portuguese. One of my one of one of you guys said you're going to teach me Portuguese, Rafinho. You said you're going to teach me some Portuguese. Okay. Uh, we're bringing in Joao Felix. We need to learn Portuguese and, and, and give that guy a, a home feeling at the club. Uh, as for the right back position, Rhys James has been playing very well. Last few games, uh, last few months, last few weeks. He's been playing very well. Uh, if he's going to be pick up those performances game after game, you can bet your ass he's going to stay at the club. He's going to stay at the club. He's going to stay, stay playing frequently. And uh, we won't need to worry about getting rid of Rhys James any, any, anytime soon and signing a new right back in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the start 11 against uh, Manchester United in the FA Cup today. We're going to Old Trafford. Ladies and gentlemen, Armando Bra, 80 rated now. 80 rated. He's going to be starting up, stop, uh, up top, ladies and gentlemen. Behind him, Christopher Nkunku, hopefully carrying in that midfield. He's got Mudrick next to him, who I've been liking his performances recently, ladies and gentlemen. I, I've been seeing Mudrick go forward a lot more. And that's all I've been asking from Mikhailo Mudrick, is to just go forward a little bit more. Maddy Wake on the right side, ladies and gentlemen. He has been playing phenomenal last few games. Bagged the goal against uh, uh, Tottenham in the last game. Conor Gallagher in a right centre mid. He has been playing very well since he's be, been back in the lineup. Um, Lavia next to him. He has never played bad for us, ladies and gentlemen. He, him and Caicedo, you can guarantee you're going to get a great performance from him every single time. Right back, Reese James is in once again. At right centre back, De Sassi's in. At left centre back, De Ligt with the captain on man's in there. And at left back, you got Marco Correa in at left back. In goal, Robert Sanchez plays this game. Ladies and gentlemen, the bench. We have the man who, when he plays, we win on the bench, Joe Linton. Rafinha is there, Xavi Simmons is there, Enzo Fernandez is there, Alfonso Davies is there, Petrovic is there of course and um, <laughs> yeah, he's there as well. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Old Trafford, last time we played against Manchester United was in the Premier League ladies and gentlemen, we drew 2-2, two -two. I wasn't happy about it. Let's go out there, let's win. Mudrick, that's all you. Yeah, good block Nassassi. Every single time I play against Manchester United, they score the shittest goals and of course this little prick. Every time I play against Manchester United, they play the worst football and they score the worst goals. I mean, look at that. What a shit goal. Good block. If that went in, no one was going to be surprised. If that went in, no one was surprised. Line. Line again. I want to fucking shoot him. How can you be so useless? I just don't get it. And now they're in behind again and they're going to score. Like, I just don't understand why we're losing the ball like that! Why are we losing the ball like that? I hate this little fucking rat. I just want to fucking kick him in his head. We're so shit. Look at the football. Look at Kukure with his flipping bush fucking shit head. And he's not doing nothing! In what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boa wants. Oh, Gallagher's a great ball. Boa! Yes! There's a big goal! Get the ball and fuck off! Why the? Haha! <laughs> Armando oh, Boa! We are 2 1 down! Why are you celebrating? What the fuck is this to celebrate, Armando, bro? 2-1 down. Huh? Three. Yes, great pass. Look at Madueke. Oh my god, Conor Gallagher. Oh my god. On your left foot, Madueke. One more, one more. Gallagher. Not there. Why the fuck would you go to Armando, bro? Oh man! Go into either the Sassy or Mudrick. Look at him. Look at him. Why? Why? Losing my head, ladies and gentlemen. One minute at a time, win a ball. Mudrick, go! Mudrick, go! Go! One minute at a time, play him! Oh my god, he's gonna blow the whistle, little fucking bitch, man. Fuck! Ladies and gentlemen, we've moved into a wing play strategy, right? Reese James, he's on balanced, conservative interceptions, overlap. Let's go out and let's win. Play him! Oh my god, I'm under the bar! I am in fucking disbelief! Like, I don't understand what more. Do you want it spoon fed, Armando, bro? I don't want to shout you, Armando, bro, but like, do you want it spoon fed? Is that what it is? <laughs> like, is that what it is, Armando, bro? Ladies and gentlemen, 
Life changing subs. We've got Xavi Simmons moving in on the left side, Rafinha moving on the right side. Let's go ahead and let's win. Xavi Simmons, sorry, Mudrik and uh, Maddie Wakey haven't, ha haven't had bad games. Maddie Wakey hasn't had a bad game. Where the fuck is Mikhail Mudrik? Can someone put a poster up? Something. Something. I don't see this guy. When it's game day, I don't see him. Maddie Wakey is coming off, ladies and gentlemen. Maddie Wakey is coming off. Wait, this guy, wait, Mudrik, you was on the pitch the whole time? I, no one knew it, Mudrik. No one knew it, Mudrik. No one knew it. <laughs> like, isn't that something? Rafinha, I need it to be big. Pause. Delict! Yes, Delict! Come on! Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen! I told Rafinha I needed it to be big. And ladies and gentlemen, what did he go and do? He just came on, right? One of his second touch of the game. Guess it is his Delict header. Like, 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 that is the levels, ladies and gentlemen. What a signing! Look at this. What went from Rafinha? On the head of Delict, I mean, look at that. Look at that. Bodies the defender down to the ground. Delict, the only man, I mean, head and shoulders above everyone else. Look at that angle. It just shows Delict winning there. That is beautiful. Oh my lord, Marcus Rashford eating grass. That little fucking horse. Now let's go out there and win this game that we are oh so capable of winning. Ladies and gentlemen, Reese James has moved into a stay back on attack mentality now. Uh, that being said, he's fucked off in Uganda. Yeah. Turn it in, bro. I'll turn it in. Go inside. You could have went alone. And Kunku. One more. Connor Gallagher. This is your moment, boy. This is your moment. Why the fuck are you shooting from China when we're in fucking Old Trafford, man? Connor Gallagher, get the fuck off the pitch. My heart. My heart, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. I shouted too much. Connor Gallagher. You're trying to kill me, Connor Gallagher, yeah? Are oh, you trying to fucking kill me, Connor Gallagher? Get your bitch ass off the pitch, Conor Gallagher. And you see your bitch ass down in fact. Joe Linton, you get on there and you do something, boy. <laughs> Watch that pass. Delict. No, no, no. This, what you say, Robert Sanchez. Delict. You are going to get a fucking world after the game, Delict. <laughs> meet me, Delict. Meet me. Meet me after the game. Bro, I run. Play him, play him! Oh my god, it's the one man you would want in this situation. There's Armando Boa, ladies and gentlemen! Armando Boa! You celebrate! I want to want Armando Boa! Come here! Come here, Armando Boa! Show me! Come here, boy! Wait, you're not coming to me, Armando Boa? <laughs> why, why are you not coming to me, Armando Boa? What have I done to you? What have I done to you, Armando Boa? Huh? Ha! <laughs> you would want to have Fuzzle Davies? Huh? Okay, Armando Boa. I see it. What a goal, Armando Boa! I will still applaud you. <laughs> what a goal. What a goal from Armando Bro, ladies and gentlemen. Hold it down. Ladies and gentlemen, I put them on position play. When they win that ball, they better hold it down. Yes, Armando Bro. Beautiful. Yes, Armando Bro. That is beautiful. One more time backwards. Go back. If. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I, I dare them to score from this attack, Armando Bro. Watch that pass to Martial. Yes, Reese James, come on! And that's ours, and that's ours! Well done, Reese James! Go Kukurea! Yeah. Rafinha! <laughs> the sassy save him! Rafinha! It's not looking good for you, Rafinha! It's not looking good for you! Reese James has done amazing! Go, Rafinha! Two, two more minutes! Go, bro! Go! Go, bro! Why the fuck is he showing it down? Well done! Go, Rafinha! You might as well do it at this point, Rafinha! You might as well! Yes, Rafinha. Go back. Turn around. Yes, Rafinha. Joe Linton. You could have had a fucking put a... Ah, you could have put the game to bed, uh, Joe Linton. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from 2-0 down. From 2-0 down, we fought back. We brought on Rafinha. Right? We brought, we brought on Xavi Simmons. Right? We brought on Joe Linton. We brought on the players we needed, ladies and gentlemen. I told you. There are game changers on the bench and there's a certain man that when, we, when he plays we win, Joe Linton bring, bring him on, we win. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your start 11. We're going with up against Wolves today. As you can see, once again, Armando Bra is in up top. Okay, like that's the standard nowadays, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, attacking mid this game is going to be Enzo Fernandez playing. Right on the left side, Mudrik is another goal. Guys, I don't think you understand when I say I want Mudrik to become a star. I do. And I'm not going to give up. I didn't give up on Madueke, look at him now. I didn't give up on Armando Bra, look at him now. Madueke only started turning on in December, by the way. We're in January, right? Caicedo in at DM, Rafinha on the right side, on the right side, by the way, at right mid. Joe Linton, the, the, the guy that plays, we win, right? He's at right, he's at right centre mid, up and down, of course. Delict, right centre back, Captain Armand. Badia Show, left centre back. Kukurea on the right back position, Reece James gets a little break. Davies on the left back position. Petrovic in goal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's against Wolves. We're away from home. Let's go out there, let's get three points, and let's go home. Ladies and gentlemen, a rainy day. <laughs> Away from home, 
Got a coat on. Let's go out there. Let's get three points, ladies and gentlemen. Enzo Fernandez wants it. It's a great ball from Joe Linton with a great touch. Enzo Fernandez. It was a good touch, ladies and gentlemen. But it was, you know what it was? It, it was the fact that, that the defender was just too close. Body show. Look how easy. Delict saves his life. Look at it. Over the top. Joe Linton, Rafinha. Oh my lord, Joe Linton. What an addition to this team, ladies and gentlemen. Rafinha. Mudrik is so nervous. Why the fuck does I go back into Rafinha? Caicedo, that's all you. Why are you holding your dick in your hand, Caicedo? Wake up, man. I don't like the look of that outside pass. Delict. What the fuck is that defending? Why is that defending? Everyone there was just, what are you doing? Like, 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 so one of you has to have the boost to just put your foot down and put a leg in. Baddy Shield might not play. Alfonso Davies has done amazing. Don't do it, Alfonso Davies. Look for the inside pass. Yeah. Rafinha! Oh my lord. I don't blame Alfonso Davies because no one, no one would cut in for, for the cutback. No one did. Yes, good play. Mudrik. Get the fuck off. Get off, little nigga. Get off. Shavis Simmons, welcome to the game. Don't let him score another goal. Don't let him score another goal. Ladies and gentlemen, if we win this game, it's a huge game for the Premier League table. But it looks like we don't want to win the game. It looks like we don't want to win the game. I am sick and tired of this bullshit. Mikhailo Mudrik, you're the one that lost the ball. You're the one that lost the ball. Sick and tired. Fuck off, Mudrik. 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 No, no, don't pull those eyes. Don't do the sad eyes. I don't give a shit, Mikhailo Mudrik. Sit on the bench. Sit on the bench. You might get sold. We're in January, Mudrik. We're in January. That's the standard this season. Xavi Simmons already coming on doing a flipping dimer. Ah! Joe Linton! Yes, Joe Linton! Great play! Great play, get the ball and go! Get, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, Joe Linton! Ladies and gentlemen, it's very winnable. Why the fuck do we have to go down two goals for us to find it and ourselves to start scoring goals? Go out there and give me two more goals. Two more goals minimum. Look at us! Look at the fucking defending! Why is no one able to defend this bullshit? They're playing the shit as most basic as football. Get out of fucking face. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I'm so fucking angry right now. I don't give a shit. Uh, Baddy Shields coming off. Colt, uh, Kruker is moving into left centre back. And, and Reece is coming on our right back. I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fucking done. I should have put uh, uh, a Desassi on the bench. Um, I, I, I should have. And before you start saying why I didn't play the sassy, <laughs> it's against Wolves. They're, they're, they're like fucking 12 right now. Like, I didn't think I needed it. I thought I could have put, get, put, given Baddy a shield a little go against Wolves and we would have won. Little did I fucking know. Little did I know. Baddy a shield, a mohawk. It's 2023, a mohawk. And you're wondering why you're playing like a fucking dickhead. Sit down. Sit down. Why are you still standing up? Sit down. There you go. Yeah. Wants to, wants to give away a shit goal against Newcastle in real life and then play my career mode. And he wants to give away these goals. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Rafinha, go! Yes, Rafinha! Great play! Look how we're playing on the offense, Linja. When we're cooking, on the offense, we're frying. On the offense, we're frying. When we lose the ball, it's unlucky. It was good play. It was unlucky. They just defended well. On the defense, are you kidding me? We're playing like we got a fucking dick in our ass. What a great run from Rafinha. And what a strike it is, Linja. But bottom left corner, go out there and give me a fucking window. Alfonso Davies, don't, don't allow the inside pass. Not the inside pass. Not the inside. I keep saying... Not the fucking inside pass! And three passes in a row you let it happen. Petrovic, thank you. One more time inside. Rafinha wants. Oh my god, it's a great pass. Yes, Enzo! Oh my god, man! The pass back to Rafinha was there! Don't do it. Jonathan, what the fuck is that? Ladies and gentlemen, going into the second half, I need to see a bit more fucking bollocks and a bit more confidence. Show me something. Don't do it. Turn around. Good man, inside. One more time. Why the fuck are you crossing the ball when it's Jonathan's right there? Look at my defense, defensive shape. Look at them all. Look at them all. Good save, Petrovic. Good save. Look, look how he's just running through us. Good save, Petrovic, again. Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher and Cook is coming on. Enzo Fernandez is getting a rest. Because we want to win. And in order to do that, we need to score immediately. Not let them, don't let them score. <laughs> don't you let them score. The inside pass, good save Petrovic. Because it's, it's an inside pass once again. It's an inside pass once again. Yes, Davies, go. Go. Yes, Davies, what a ball. Go, Armando Bar. Go. Yes, Armando Bar. Great play. It's phenomenal football. Alfonso Davies, thank you. Armando Bar. Well done! Ladies and gentlemen, that's why Alfonso De that's why I wonder bro ran to Alfonso Davies last game. That's why I see it now, I wonder bro. I see the vision. It should never have to be. Look at the defending. Look at this defending. Like no one is defending. 
No one is defending. No one. They have a free pass. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg you can see what I'm having to deal with. Please. One game, they're clamping up absolutely everything that goes their way. I'm talking about everything. The next game, look at this. Just look. Look at Caicedo. Look at Kukurea. Look at Alfonso Davies. Look at the lift. No, not one of them. Not one of them put any amount of pressure on anyone. Of course they're scoring goals. Don't. He's going to fucking do it, man. Yes. Bro, I know. Pop. Why did you take the touch all the way out this way over here when the goal is over there? I'm on the bra. What on God's green earth went through your head? <laughs> Where's the IQ level? Joe Linton. He's done amazing. What the f Rafinha, well done. <laughs> Rafinha, well done. I was about to lay into you, Rafinha. I was about to lay into you. What a goal it was. Joe Linton, look at this pass, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my lord, that, that man there needs to play every damn game. Now there is there's basically 20 minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Go out there, win that ball back and get me another fucking goal. I'm not accepting a draw, I'm not accepting a loss. Go out there and get me a win. Run in Kunku, your fresh legs, go. Go Rafinha, go, 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 go. Oh my god, Rafinha, go, go. What the fuck? Yes, bro. What the hell? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Armando Bruja. Armando Bruja. Armando. Armando. No. No. I need a fucking Django whip from this corner. Rafinho. Rafinha. That's what you've given me. Nkunku. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, on the ground. Nkunku, go. Why the... Fuck is he shooting? Rafinha, a good cross like you always do, please. What the shit, man? Keep it in. What the fuck is that performance, man? What is that performance? <laughs> I am in disbelief, ladies and gentlemen. I am in disbelief. My defenders are standing there, right? Trousers down, dicking and doesn't, don't know where they are, don't know what to do. What the hell am I supposed to tell them? That has fucking pissed me off. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in, we're, in, we're in fourth place, right? Five points behind first place Aston Villa, right? I, I like, like, we can't win, draw, win, draw. It's not, it sounds great, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work for me. We need to go out and win every game. We're in fourth place, great. Champions League spot secured. I, listen, we're, we're so close to winning the Premier League. We just, <laughs> defensive, like, did you, see, did you see the games that we draw? Do you see the games that we lose? It's defensive, stupid ass errors. It's nothing more than that. It's just simple. De we're scoring a lot of goals. It's defensive, stupid ass errors. Yeah, sure. Broha missed at the end there. He should have. He should 100% of the time be scoring that. 100% of the time, Broha has to be in that position. Has to be scoring in the box one on one. You have to score. I don't give a shit. Right? But we scored four goals that game. We conceded four goals, and there were stupid four goals. We need to clean it up defensively. Clean it up defensively.